Now, other interesting culture news, you have Bud Light versus Twitter, and they, their births keep dying. It's fascinating and entertaining to watch, and even more fascinating to see the actual hidden comments that Bud Light doesn't want you to see. Hint, it's a lot of, uh, mostly the meme of Alyssa Heiderschild, who will forever be known as the most brilliant marketing. She prominently said on LinkedIn, the first female marketing lead at Anheuser-Busch. She will never be forgotten, I promise you that. She was the mastermind who hired Dylan O'Vaney to be their spokesperson. And they have her standing above the grave with a little meme where it's her face plastered at the guys with a peace sign above the grave. And the grave says, Anheuser-Busch, their establishment date to this year. Now, this recent tweet that they had, they actually tweeted something and it turned out to be trash in many instances. Now, they're continuing to push against that big wave of everyone pushing back against them on Twitter. They they went about I believe, over a month and a half of silence, which is basically an eternity on social media. And their latest tweet was a guy holding a bottle of Bud Light, not drinking it, of course, which is somewhat funny, but also I, I did a little research. In terms of industry trends, it's kind of a... It's a non-spoken agreement between the alcohol beverage companies to pretty much gain favor with the government. There's no law that says you can't consume beer in a commercial, but they're worried about further regulation and they don't wanna be screwed over like the tobacco community has when nowadays it's illegal for tobacco companies to actually advertise on TV in any way. That's why you've never seen a commercial depending on your age group. So they're worried they don't want any extra additional regulation. So they're self-regulating to some extent and that's one of the things they do. Now. This has a gentleman holding a bottle of Bud Light, and it had 246,000 views and 987 likes. And at this point, I almost wonder if they're paying for likes, which is apparently something you can do if you're sad or desperate. You can actually pay people to like your post. Now, actually, it reminds me, if you're watching, do us a favor and do go ahead and click that like button because it does help the channel out, and the comments also greatly help the channel out, and we appreciate the feedback. Now. Of the 246,000 people who viewed it, they got 987 likes. That equals, and I know, United States math scores at an all-time low, so we'll do a little math today. That equals 0.4% likes. Almost half, just shy of half a percentage. Which, yes, that is quite pitiful. That is correct. Now, the number one ratio tweet, so this tweet, of course, someone replied to it and their tweet was more popular. That got 12,100 views. And that tweet was a guy, same picture, this guy holding the beer, but they photoshopped a trash bin behind it, so it looked like he was about to throw it into the trash. Simpli there's some beauty in the simplicity of that pun that he made. Now, that particular response got 12,100 views and 632 likes, which, do a little math, that's 5.27% likes. So of the everyone who saw the meme, 5.27% liked it as opposed to the people who saw the original, 0.4% of people liked it. Now, you also had another response that's quite entertaining, which is a parody where the, they photoshopped the beer out for a, um, a, I'm trying to think of a nice way of saying a, a sex toy for the back door. Now, um, that one got 9,606 views and it got 537 likes. So 5.59% of people who saw it liked it. So it is quite fascinating to see this tweet just immediately ratioed. And if you look at the comments, every, like, an overwhelming 90 plus percent of the comments are all people saying, apologize, we won't forget, T your beer tastes terrible. And I saw maybe one person actually respond to the Bud Light tweet in a positive manner. So they're starting to creep up. I don't know if that's a bot or maybe someone who works at Andrew Bush and Bev, but it's fascinating to see there's the overwhelming negativity against Bud Light has not let up. Also, their sales are not gone up either. And we'll see if they can turn it around. Day. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Don't forget, we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of July, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. Also, every time you comment, it greatly helps the channel out, it gets the video shared more. Also appreciate the critique as we try to make the show better and better. And also, don't forget to like the video. And lastly, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, Tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe and fight the good fight.